Hello, today I would like to do the comparing the auto ranging speed on resistant mode with the 1.01 um, version firmware what I received and the latest version with 1.10. On the EV vlog forum, I saw a person who doesn't even own 121GW multimeter made the patches to improve the auto ranging speed. And now it has the latest version is 1.10 is out. So I would like to upgrade the firmware and comparing the speed with the 1.01 and 1.10. Okay. Before I perform firmware update, I will like this is 1.01. I thought it would be good to uh, measure the all for auto ranging speed. Ohm mode ohm. Ohm, ohm, and wait for this to go to out overflow, and I don't have a three finger, a uh, three hand. Okay, start four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, that was about nine seconds. Stop, reset again, and wait for overflow. Let's do it again. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, that was about eight seconds. So it probably it's less than eight seconds. And all other three is fine, then how many? Um, Yeah, let's, all, all three is about one second or something. Okay. Now I'm going to upgrade the firmware. When I did the uh, data logging on SD card last time, it took me a while how to get this thick rubber holster out of the multimeter. And the easiest way was grab here and push with the thumb because it's pretty thick multimeter. And then with a Phillips screwdriver number two. And opposite of the clockwise. Two, two screws. And then it comes off. And both are metal receivers, so it, it won't, it won't damage taking off the um, back cover many times and this is the SD card and I'm going to write the 1.10 firmware here I wrote 1.10 firmware with the file name eebblog.bin put it back put the cover back with the Phillips screw number 2 screwdriver Normally what I do when I screw with a screwdriver, normally I turn on, turn the other side of a clockwise and wait for the, yes, wait for the um, notch goes in and then turn it to clockwise so not to damage, have a less chance to damage. Another, let's try it for another one. Yes. And Yes. Okay. Then pull it back to the holster. So how to perform the formal upgrade is hold, press hold button and mem button, and then turn on. And it says IAP. Then press setup and it says D O U U N and then one more time and it's it's reading from SD card and version 1.10 great okay let's measure the speed after the firmware upgrade oh set every, all the meters to ohm range 
and wait for E121 GW multimeter to go to overflow. Yes, it's overflow. Start. About that was four seconds. That was four seconds. Even I after I pressed the um, stopwatch, stop. That was so it, it's almost half than eight seconds or seven or eight seconds. Again. Yeah, that's less. That's less. Than, that's less than about. That was sec, about three seconds. Stop. Reset one more time. Yeah, that's three point something. Definitely improvement. So if I compare all others, yeah, the all others about less less than one second. And this is still, this is not a fair comparison. This is fifty thousand. Always 50,000 count multimeter. This is 6,000. This is 10,000. And this is 6,000. So one more time at the end. I think I figured out a good way. Yeah, that was about 3 seconds. Nice. So um, from 7, 8, 7, 8 second for with the firmware version 1.01 and now version 1.10, it's uh, auto ranging for the ohm range is about 3 seconds. Mm, nice. So one, one of the f feature was improved with the 1.10 was auto ranging speed in, in the resistance mode. And another thing I was, when I was using after I purchased 121 GW multimeter, um, some person seems like had a, a pro issue with the rotary switch and mine never had a, I never had a problem with the rotary switch contact. However, I'm, most of my life I, I've been earning living with being a software engineer and watching this, the screen and changing the knob, it, it felt me a little bit, this, it has an issue in the software. Um, it felt like having a memory leak or buffer overflow making the feature less consistent. However, having the firmware upgrade feature on the multimeter, not many companies distribute the firmware on the website to do the uh, firmware upgrade. It's definitely it's good to have a firmware upgrade feature. Today when I take a vi video, I try to adjust the brightness. I hope it had a better um, video and changing from firmware from 1.01 to 1.10 auto ranging resistance speed was 7 or 8 and it was improved to about 3 seconds or well, yes so it's it's good still it's still it's not a fair comparison this is 50,000 count all the time 6,000 10,000 6,000 Still, for me, the only, this is the only ha handheld multimeter which has a 50,000 count and which also has a firmware update capability. Or uh, pros and cons, this is 50,000 with a firmware upgradable. Some, and uh, right now, the, for my opinion, the firmware is a bit buggy still. And the fluke, um, for everyday use, it's not the best, <laughs> 6,000 in high res mode, 20,000. Um, why it's not the best is, I don't know, it's the size or the responsive, uh, responsive or something. For me, the ranging switch is the, uh, feel, feels the great. But every time you, uh, for the daily uses, I still use these three. This has 10,000 and Spot gets the uh, the resolution with 10,000 easily, and this does uh, this only is 6,000, but it's it the uh, the value settles very quickly than um, all uh, comparing the all three, and this is the this is this meter is definitely for the when I need a 50,000, especially measuring the um, low ohm voltage example. 
making the leads and uh, want to have a very low resistance. Okay, that's it for today and thank you.